Judah, chapter 5 and verse 20. Now therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people, if there be any error in this people, he's talking about the blacks and his, uh, Hispanics, which are the Israelites today. Watch this. And they sin against their God. And they sin against who? Their God. Agreed. Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. So he said, when we're in the midst of sin, that's going to be our ruin. So what we got to do, we got to stop the sin. We got to tell the brothers, hey, let your beard grow. You know who else did that to us? What did a white man call us in the cotton field? What else? Boy. Boy. He said, hey, come here, boy. You a grown man with eight kids. But he said, come here, boy. Think about it. You know how they make it look like a boy? Shave, hey, shave your face. You got to have a clean face. If you want to get a good job, what you got to do? Clean your face. That's what they want us to think, right? But when we doing these things, what are we doing? Hmm? Hey, what are we doing? <laughs> what would you read not too long ago? When you do something against God, you sin. So when we do these things, we are sinning. And he said, look, when we're in the midst of sin, it's, that's our ruin. It's, that's the reason why I people drive by like, I don't want to hear that Bible stuff. I'm okay in Christianity where they say God, uh, Christ is a white man, God is a white man, and everybody can be saved, which it does not come from the Bible. That's, a, that's our ruin. Look how destroyed we are in our minds. They actually think I'm African American, named after two different white men, and I can go to, a, to two different continents at the same time. And that's why I was born at. How? That's not right, right? It's not, it's not, it's not a real thing. Watch this. Now therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error in these people, and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin, and let us go up, and we shall overcome them. But if there be no iniquity in their nation, let my Lord now pass by. He said, if there be no iniquity. Another word for iniquity, that's sin. So it said, there be no sin in this nation, read. Let now my Lord pass by. He said, look, let us just keep moving. We don't want to mess with them if they ain't sinning. Come on. Let the Lord defend them. Let's our who? Their Lord. Defend them. He said, let's our Lord defend them. What we have to understand, what we have to understand is, right, we got the one true God on our side. He's not for everybody. Did y'all know that? You knew that? Exactly. Exactly. So what y'all going to do to change our situation? 